Hello, I'm Takeshi Iwata from Shingijutsu Global Consulting. Do you understand and use standard work correctly? This time, I will explain standard work. First of all, what is standard work? Standard work is a method to decide how to proceed work efficiently without muda, waste, centered around human movement in order to maintain safety, quality, and quantity of work. There are three important factors in determining standard work. First is tack time. Second is work sequence. And the third is standard work in process. These are the three factors. It is important to decide these three factors. I will add more details about these three elements later. Next is the purpose of standard work. It has two purposes. First is clarifying the rules on how to do the work and then using it as a tool for management. Standard work is decided by considering safety, quality, cost, and quantity. It can be said that the following rule of standard work is an efficient way of working without muda, waste. The second is to use it as a tool for kaizen. There is a saying, where there is no standard, there can be no kaizen. With a standard, you can judge whether the work is normal or abnormal. In addition, it is possible to identify opportunities for improvement, such as muda, waste, overburden, and unevenness and link them to kaizen activities. Next are the prerequisites for standard work. Human movements have variance. Also, people sometimes forget what to do. Therefore, it is important to standardize on the movements of people and to make it a repetitive task. In addition, from a facility perspective, it is important to stop equipment failures and reduce such breakdown. If there are many equipment failures, standard work will be interrupted and it leads to operation hindrance. The same can be said for quality. If there are many abnormalities like defects, the standard work will be interrupted. Therefore, it is necessary to improve and eliminate anomalies such as failures and defects before setting standard work. Next is the difference between standard work and work standard. Standard work shows how one worker works. It shows how much work area is assigned based on the tack time, in what order the work is performed, and how long the series of work is performed. On the other hand, the work standard indicates the key points and points to be noted when performing a certain work, and indicates how to perform the work. Neither standard work alone nor work standard alone can be used to train or teach work. It is necessary to create it as a set. Next is the three elements of standard work. The first is tact time. The tact time is calculated as the following. This is a guideline for how long it takes to work on each unit or product. 
The tack time is calculated by the required yield. If the required number of products change, the tack time will also change. The second element is work sequence. It is desirable to work according to the flow of products. In addition, it is necessary to devise the work sequence and lay out so that one cycle of work can be done unicursally without going back and forth. The third is standard work in process. Standard work in process means the minimum necessary work in progress in the process to carry out standard work efficiently. If the standard work in process is not set, muda, waste, such as waiting, will occur. The number of standard work in process depends on the work sequence and whether or not the equipment has an automatic feed function. It is important to set the standard work in process where you need them for efficient, waste-free work. The last is how to proceed with standard work Kaizen, improvement. First, it is important to clarify the need for Kaizen. The needs are necessary to drive Kaizen activities. It is important to clarify your vision and goals. Next, it will be a series of steps to do standard work Kaizen. We will represent the current situation using the tools for standard work, find problems from them, find opportunities for Kaizen, and make improvements and replace them with new standard work. The required number and tack time will change depending on customer requirements. If the tack time changes, it means that the work range of one worker changes. When you have decided on standard work, that is still not the end. It then becomes important to change the standard work according to the required number. It is important to set the standard first. Once you set a standard, the next steps for Kaizen can be seen. If you decide the standard, you can judge whether the work is normal or abnormal. Let's work on Kaizen in this spirit of, where there is no standard, there can be no Kaizen.